The Myelin Sheath by kscience.com. So the receptor cells, when they're stimulated, generate an electrical impulse which travels down the dendrites, down the dendron, into the axon, and then to the axon terminals at the end. That is the directional travel of an electrical impulse. So what is the function of the myelin sheath? Well, the myelin sheath is a fatty layer that surrounds the neuron and insulates it. So as you can see here, the electrical impulse without the myelin sheath would be lost out of the neuron, but the myelin sheath insulates it, keeping the electrical impulse in the neuron. So it's a fatty layer. The myelin sheath is a fatty layer that insulates the neuron. It insulates the neuron. So it insulates the neuron so that no electrical energy is lost. So therefore, no electrical energy in the impulses is lost. So if less electrical energy is lost, this will then cause the speeding up of the electrical impulse. So it speeds up the electrical impulse transmission. The analogy I like to give is in a bowling alley. Side one has no sides up. Side two has the sides up. Therefore, it is insulated. So when you throw the balls down side number one, as you can see here, some of the balls will get to the end, but a lot of them will be lost. So the electrical impulse is being lost without the myelin sheath. Whereas on side number two, with the sides up, no matter where the ball goes, it ends up at the end because the sides are up and it is insulating the neuron. So as you can see with side number one, fewer impulses get to the end of the neuron than side number two because side number two has the myelin sheath, which is a fatty layer, so it insulates the neuron, so no electrical impulse is lost, which then speeds up the transmission of electrical impulse. That's what the myelin sheath does. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.